Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, are we alone? Statistically, the answer should be a resounding no. Our Milky Way galaxy alone contains between 100 and 400 billion stars. Observations from the Kepler Space Telescope show that most of these stars have planets, and a significant number of them are within the habitable zone where life could exist. Using formulas like the Drake equation, even the most conservative estimates suggest there could be hundreds, if not thousands, of civilizations capable of communication in our galaxy. Consider Captain's star, just 12 light years away. It's more than twice as old as our sun and has two super-Earth planets orbiting it. In theory, that's more than enough time for an advanced civilization to emerge and potentially colonize the entire galaxy. And yet, we see nothing. No strange electromagnetic signals, no signs of alien probes, no evidence of cosmic engineering projects like Dyson spheres. This is the heart of the Fermi paradox, the stark contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the complete lack of evidence for it. Scientists have proposed many solutions. The rare Earth hypothesis suggests the conditions that allowed life to flourish here are incredibly unique. The dark forest theory posits that advanced civilizations are intentionally hiding, fearing destruction by a more powerful one. Others believe the universe is simply too vast for civilizations to ever make contact. However, the most unsettling explanation is the Great Filter Theory. Proposed by Robin Hansen in 1998, this theory suggests that for life to evolve from a simple molecule to a galaxy-spanning civilization, it must pass through a series of incredibly difficult, almost impossible steps. These steps are the filters. Hansen outlined nine potential stages, from the formation of a suitable star system to the development of interstellar travel, the terrifying part is that at least one of these steps must be so difficult that almost no one makes it through. This would explain why the universe appears empty. So where is this great filter? Is it behind us, meaning we are one of the very first to pass it? Or is it still ahead of us? This is why our search for life on Mars or Jupiter's moon Europa is so critical. If we find evidence of even simple, extinct life on these worlds, it would be terrible news. It would mean that the emergence of life is common, but something prevents it from reaching an advanced stage. It would strongly suggest that the Great Filter is not in our past, but in our future. If that's the case, then humanity is likely approaching a final, unavoidable test, a point where advanced civilizations tend to self-destruct through war, environmental collapse, or uncontrolled technology. The silence of the universe might not be because we are alone, but because no civilization has ever survived what is to come.